So when I was making my decision on places I wanted to go, I looked at a ton of places like Thailand, Australia, and one of the ones that stood out to me a lot was Cuba. The reason Cuba stood out to me was because it's so rich in Spanish culture and heritage, you can't leave there without a genuine experience. It's a city that's trapped in time because we, the United States has had an embargo on it since the 1960s, and we have not allowed any travelers or anything else to go there for over 40 years, 50 years. So as you can see, this place is really just in the past. It's very different than anything that you see in Spain, Europe, uh, England, anything like that. And what you have in Cuba is your island scenery, like the Bahamas, because it is literally right beside the Bahamas. But you don't have the tourism there, because you can't, right now, you can't travel as a tourist to Cuba. You have to fall under 12 criteria that I read in Patrick Gottman's CNN article. And fortunately for us, in school, one of those uh, criteria was school. So what you can do is you can travel there as a student and learn, but what, basically what they want is you, they want you to travel there and benefit the Cuban people. So basically if you can find a reason to go and benefit them, you're able to. Like, uh, I think Jay-Z and Rihanna went and did whatever they did because they were doing some kind of cultural meeting. I don't know. They made up something to go to Cuba. The best time for me to go, or anybody to go, is now. It would, you, you're supposed to travel because you can get that experience. And, um, but now is the best time to go because in a few years, Cuba is going to become Americanized just like everywhere else that we travel to. But right now, and for the next few years, people aren't going to be able to travel there and you can't turn it into another America. And once you begin working after college, it's going to be difficult to travel. It's hard to get time off. It's hard to get anything, anything to your family to go. It's much more expensive. And for me, it would just be best to travel while I'm in school. You can line it up with your studies. For me, it'd be difficult because of engineering. But what I would do is pick up another minor or even an additional major and I would travel in the summer of 2017 because that would be the best time that it would fit for me. Traveling in the summer to Cuba would provide the best experience for anybody because you get that island feel. You tra when people travel to Jamaica and the Bahamas, they go there for the beaches, they go there for the waves in the summertime. Nobody wants to go there when it's cold. It doesn't really get cold in Cuba, but <coughs> they don't want to go there when it's not the best time. And the summer would be the best time to go to Cuba. So it would work for me because I would get an extra, extra degree. I would have to pay more for it, but let's just say I hit the lottery and I'm going to Cuba. <laughs> but for me, engineering credits don't transfer very easy, so I would pick up an additional major, perhaps Spanish, and take courses down there. I talked to a student here, his name is Terry. He tutors uh, calculus and basically all level, a lot of levels of math. And he is a quad major. He picked up Spanish basically by traveling abroad. And, uh, and now he's got that additional major and didn't even have to go to school here for it. So the advantage of going to Cuba, it's been secluded from the outside world. It's rich in history and culture and everything that you don't see in a lot of the modern countries. It's I wouldn't call it a third world country because they do have modern technologies, but not as modern as they have them here. They have a ton of natural beauty, including the beaches and uh, all the buildings, and, and they uh, have a genuine Hispanic experience. It's almost as if Cuba has their own culture. They're not like your Mexico or your South American countries. Cuba is their own place. It's really different from any other country that you can travel to. And it's really a cultural eye-opener. I'd, I'd like to go there and see how this embargo affected Cuba for the last 60 years. 
and for me, I would just like to see the way we advanced past that time and the way that they have, and just see how different that was. Oh, and um, also, just through reading, I found that you are able to bring back $100 worth of Cuban cigars to America, which is very valuable. The disadvantages of going to Cuba would be they are still under a dictatorship, technically, so you're not exactly able to go and experience all the things that you would want to. You're not exactly free to do anything you want there. You're not supposed to go and tour the beaches. You're not supposed to sit on the beach with a margarita and listen to music with your toes in the water or anything like that. People still do it, but, you know. And according to Jim Darlingville, the second, in an article on BuzzFeed, they're under control of Raul Castro, which is the son of Fidel Castro, who started the dictatorship and basically caused all the problems that America has with Cuba. And if you do travel to Cuba, sometimes it can conflict with personal ethics because they violate personal rights down there sometimes. So it could be an issue if you're, if you're down there and you see something going on that you don't exactly agree with and you don't have the freedom to stand up and say something to anybody because they don't have a choice. They're under control of their dictator. So in general, Cuba is full of a ton of things that anybody would want to see. You get to go to beautiful beaches, sort of, and um, you get all the cultural benefits that you get in any Hispanic country. Now is probably the only time that I can go because after school, work takes up a lot of time. It's hard to get time. It's hard to get a month off in the summer to go to Cuba, and um, it would give me an opportunity to earn extra prestige when I graduate from college, even with even taking classes that I did not take in college itself. Are there any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you're doing a summer, and what summer?